Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary by Synatic StarCraft. Today we're going to be going against Bad Player at 73 wins and 23 losses. Rich mineral fields are yellow and can be harvested faster than normal mineral fields. Did you know that? Alrighty, so here we go, starting into the game. We have Bad Player spawning in the bottom the, the right hand side of the map in uh, something was this the crypt map? I forget what these maps. I can never remember what maps are called nowadays. I think this is like the N something crypt. It starts with N and then it goes crypt. So whatever this map is. And I will be spawning in the opposite side at the top left. And that's going to be a ZVT. So uh hope you guys enjoy this. Most of my ZVTs go pretty long or pretty fast. I either die to something really early or they die when it heads into the late game. So we have him starting a supply depot at the ramp. Nothing too uh, too nasty yet. As Terran is a nasty race and they do nasty things to Zerg. You know Zerg's supposed to be nasty because they have creep. And other nasty stuff like this. The Overlord. Oh yeah, I tried playing like this for an entire game. Like right now, like this. It was impossible. Just saying. So we do have him starting his barracks as well, and we'll see if he's going for a 2 racks or just a normal 13 gas into whatever. And it looks like he is going to rally his SCV over there. Oh, it's probably just for scouting. That was weird. Alright, so we do have a 13 gas. So this is what I want to see. This is what I really like when I, I really like when players don't 2 racks. It's 2 raxing. My build that I use for ZTs, uh, it's better for Heli and or reactor heli and expands and that's kind of what it's built for. So they T-Rex kind of throws me off my game, even though I expect it like half the time, anyways. But uh, he is going uh, what it looks seems to be reactor heli and so far. If I came in here and scouted this, I would uh, expect reactor helians and I don't think I'll be able to scout this game because he might throw a supply. D yeah, he will. So I won't be able to see what he's doing. Actually, on second thought, I will. <laughs> So never mind, uh, I will see that gas and I will uh, kind of assume for him to go reactor Hellion after this. And my drone's trapped in here as well, so no big. Second overload, always watching for bunkers and, uh, you know, weird shit. Oh, wait, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, never mind, I speedling expanded. Uh, oh, right, right, that was because this guy plays random. I forgot, holy crap. That was weird. <laughs> Anyways, so I did speedily expand because he was playing random. I had no idea what he was doing, so he turned out to be Terran after I scouted. So I'm uh, going to throw down my expansion and play from there. Normally, I like to 15 hatch and do my, you know, roach ling aggression thing into a uh, ling infester and do a ling infester ultras and all that good stuff. Which uh, I think you guys have seen. I'll cast another one if you guys want to see, because ultras are good. Except for when they get stuck. When they try to go up ramps like these, oh god, it is a so it's a sore sight to see. So uh, I did go speeding expand, which I don't. I'm not really used to doing. I only speeding expand against Terran like maybe like one in like 20 times. So yeah, I'm not very familiar with this. Getting my roach worn though, trying to you know get my roach thing aggression in there. Uh, have my roach worn down by 440, which is where you want it to uh, prevent the Hellions from doing too much damage. I think I'm going to be a bit late this game, but it is cross position, so the Hellions are going to take a while before they reach here. And I might have uh, the uh, roaches out in time. Not too sure, though. My roaches are a bit slower, though, because I did speed and expand. He looks like he is going for the reactor Hellion expand, adding that tech lab and another barracks. And um, we'll see how it pounds up from here. So I will have my roaches out in time. His Hellions are just leaving and my roach worn has just popped. So three roaches on the way right now. And uh, these should be used for clearing the watchtowers first. Unless he decides to directly go for me. Which most people don't. Okay, never mind. I'm completely wrong in this game. I'm making six roaches actually. So uh, I decided to go a bit heavier on this roachling aggression. Trying to go for a... Uh, do a decent amount of damage to him, and uh, he is checking the watchtowers. You're not going to my base yet. That's kind of weird. And uh, I'm going to start producing speedlings now, making another queen in my uh, second hatchery here for my second base. Pulling one guy off gas, it looks like there. No particular reason why. 
So everything's just touching these Hellions and uh, sending two roaches out. Don't want to show him all my roaches and my links here. And it looks like I am going to be able to trap these uh, Hellions by the Watchtower. So that's very good news for me taking out these two annoying scouts. He won't, he won't be able to see when I attack with these Roachlings right now because uh, he has no Watchtowers and uh, no scouting. So he won't be able to see this coming, making a tank and transitioning into that standard tank. Uh, Marine, Medivac. Yeah. yeah. Don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright. So I'm making a lot more speed links to rally. And I'm going to drone up behind this. So my roaches are getting there now. My speed links are going to come over here. He's got that he hasn't expanded yet. So that's bad news for me. This won't do too much damage. I could go up the ramp and uh, annoy these supply depots. Try to pick off a tank or a couple marines maybe. But I decide to wait for him to uh, come down. Because eventually he will have to. And uh, if he doesn't have a big enough army, I can punish that with these roaches and zerglings. As you can see, joining up behind this, making two evolution chambers for double upgrades. And I uh, should be getting a layer pretty soon here. Orb McMahon landing right now, transferring SCVs. And I don't know that he's landed yet, so... Uh, oh, there. Yeah, I don't know. Sending one zergling in. Now I know that he's landed. And I see that he has two tanks and, like, three marines, so that's not too good. I'm going to surround all of that kill that immediately so he loses two tanks lots of marines up here though that I didn't he didn't bring down to the low ground yet adding his SCV sir does allow my zerglings to go in when that supply depot is open these roaches are gonna try to snipe off as many SCVs as they can zerglings just uh, stalling the marines and uh, with that siege tank there I won't be able to do too much damage taking on another supply depot before I leave I'm uh, making why am I keep why do I keep making links that's actually kind of weird. I should have droned up after that. Uh, let's see what the drones are at, though. So 32 to 24, so I'm still a lot ahead. And uh, he's going to have to play catch up from here, pretty much. One half build supply depot there. So I'm going to get my plus one, plus one upgrades. Get my layer and start droning up to saturate both my bases. Should be getting all three gases pretty soon. Overlord here to sacrifice if I need it, but I pretty much know what he's doing. Uh, after that attack. That's the beauty of that Roach thing aggression. You see what unit composition he's going for and uh, in a way it's it's a form of scouting as well. So he's going that tank marine route making a couple more links make, making sure he doesn't go for an all-in because I know he's behind right now so there's always a factor where or the, there's, a, there's always a chance that he's gonna just go screw it I'm gonna kill you now because you made me behind and then just shove all their units into your base and kill you. And uh, that's never too good. So you always want to prepare for that. Uh, getting all my gas now. And uh, where's my layer? My layer is here. All right. So he does scan and see not too much zerglings here. So he might be thinking that I'm uh, underproduced units here, kind of. And I do get these rallying forces, and I'll be able to sandwich this force with ease. Uh, with all zerglings here, zerglings here. There's no way this army is going to survive. These Zerglings are a bit late to the party though, so that kind of sucks for the Roaches here, eating all the damage. And the Lings finally come in for this round, and these Marines are going to stand no chance and just die. And uh, from here, killing so many Marines, I decided to go for a Spire instead of an Infestation Pit. So, uh, killing all those Marines, I do feel like going Mutas right now is the correct choice. Plus one, plus one, uh, finishing, gonna get plus two, plus two on the Lings as well. And Muta Ling with plus two, plus two Lings. Uh, you barely need any Banelings in there to do too much damage. Sniping here, uh, Lings in here and trying to do a bit of damage. Sniping off a tank, maybe? Wow, it went down to one HP there, so that was pretty close. Getting my third now as I just killed his whole army and there's no way he can attack me right now even if he decides to pull all his SCVs it'd just be stupid. So uh, making more drones at 51 now and uh, should switch into mutas pretty soon here. Plus two plus two on the way for the lings and uh, by his next attack I should have plus two plus two. Uh, what should we look at now? 53 to 32 harvesters. So yeah I'm severely ahead right now doing that first roach thing attack killing uh, lots of marines and tanks that second attack just sandwiching him and there's nothing he could do so uh, I am gonna start making meters right now and perhaps start saturating my third base unless I scout that he has a big army and I feel threatened and I'll change up in the lings and plus two plus link uh, plus two plus two lings are so strong 
making a macro hatchery right here for more zergling production because I feel like I'm going to make so many zerglings when uh, what these good upgrades compared to is zero zero I believe not one zero. Oh, he does have an engineering bay. No turrets yet for him as uh, this game was kind of weird so all the timings are thrown off. You can't just throw turrets down at like uh, 11 minutes where they normally throw them down. Uh, it's kind of weird so making a wall off here. This uh, making his ball bigger. Making his balls bigger. Four mutas coming in here to just do a little bit of harassment. I mean you can't do too much with four mutas but you can uh, kill a couple workers here and there so whatever. So I have to go for the extractor and glaive worms will bounce and kill not even one SCB, so that was kind of bad. And, uh, he's transferring more workers here. We'll get the refinery before the marines come in, and that's the thing with these Terran wall offs is uh, it makes the buildings get in their own way, and it's hard for them to move units around their base. Seeing those mutas, he does decide to throw down turrets now, and then I'm just going to drone up my third base, getting both gases at once so I can go more. Uh, Muta's not even making a banelings less it that looks like, so I don't even want banelings. I feel like my plus two plus two lings are just gonna completely destroy his marine tank composition without banelings. And uh, those upgrades are gonna complete before his attack, so that's gonna be awesome. Getting plus one flyer attacks for my mutas as well. And uh, he's gonna have to push out here pretty soon or expand. Either way, uh, I'm pretty sure this game I have in the bag. Making another two turrets down here from. Uh, more anti-muta harassment making another one there but the coming out and uh, how much meters do I have oh I do make a banelings nest right here just in case if he has too much marines uh, plus one on the way I do have 12 meters right now so uh, could get annoying if I start harassing his mineral line killing turrets and stuff I do spot that he's moving out here and I have the watchtower so I know he's coming in for an attack we make nothing but attacking units even though I pretty much was, because uh, the space is already saturated. Bailing's Nest probably won't make it in time. So, uh, just mutas and zerglings to clean up this ball. It looks pretty small, though. And, uh, my Ling does spot that, so I should be able to just go in for a surround and just completely kill this guy. And, uh, here we go. So, going in for the surround. And just, uh, a late siege, so... Bam, everything dies. And that was a pretty quick game. So uh, there you go. Uh, quick ZVT for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys uh, pretty soon. I'm going to do a cast right after this. So bye.